hate these flowers. <laughs> hey guys! So we are currently at Omi Jingu Shrine, which is a very popular, pretty big shrine in Otsu. Yeah. And you've probably noticed Emily and I are in nice traditional. Yeah, you want to back up a little bit so they can see? Nice traditional hakama today and being stared at. <laughs> but we're going to show you what New Year's is like in Japan. Whereas in North America, I would say the typical way of celebrating the New Year is basically staying at home and watching the countdown. Um, in Japan, a lot of people wait for the countdown at a shrine or they'll come to a shrine within the first few days of the New Year to kind of do something called Hatsumol Day, which is like the first shrine visit of the year. Yeah. So we're coming to a very big shrine in Otsu to just kind of show what the New Year's atmosphere is in Japan. So here we go. Yeah. So one thing you do at New Year's is uh, pick omikuji, which is like, it tells you your luck for the New Year's, your wishes, your health for the year, love. So what's yours? There's like so many. <laughs> Tell us one thing about your future luck for this, for 2020. It says I shouldn't get married this year. Okay. And if, if I get a baby, it's going to be a boy. Okay. Wow, that's very specific. <laughs> So Omi Jingu is a shrine known for many things, one of the, which is water clocks and just clocks in general. They have a whole clock museum and every year they even have a clock festival. Sundials and fire clocks, water clocks, modern clocks. Omi Jingu is also known for a game called Karuta which is something that uses a deck of cards called the Hyakuni Ishu, which is a collection of 100 Japanese poems, all from different authors. Each card, each poem, has a first half and a second half. The first half is written on one card, and the second half is written on the other, and this is for all 100 poems. So the game Karuta is played by putting the second half of the poem out in front of you and your opponent. A third party reads out the first part of one of the poems. And then the players have to touch the corresponding second half of the poem and the cards of the cards light out in front of them. It's actually quite a difficult game because you have to memorize all the poems. But there's a whole anime, manga, and live action movie about this game called Chihaya Huru. And this shrine is particularly famous for it because the Karuta tournaments, both high school and adult, are held here every year. This shrine is actually known at, is known as the birthplace of modern day Japanese competitive Karuta. Hey Taichi, what's up? What's up, man? Can you teach us some karuta? No? You busy? Okay, that's fine. That's cool. How about you? Can you teach us some karuta? Show us, show us the ropes as the queen. No? Okay, that's cool. I see you got your little snow t-shirt going on. That's fine. Chihaya? Will you show us karuta? Nope, she's too busy as well. Okay, that's alright. So that's just a brief introduction to Omi Jingu Shrine. I could go on for a very long time about any of the topics that we talked about today. Karuta, the clock museum and the clock festival that they have here, the history of the shrine in general, New Year's in Japan. We could go into huge detail on all these topics. It's a really cool shrine to come to. It's not incredibly big, but it's not super small either. It's, it's just a really cool place. And um, if you're a fan of anime and manga, it's the place to come if you're if you're visiting Shiga. Um, One of the places to come. I mean, yeah. If, <laughs> if you're a Ch Chihaya Huru fan, this is a must. You yes. have to come here, hands down. 
So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about Omijingu Shrine or Karuta or any of the other things that we talked about, please leave a comment. I would love to answer it. Um, karuta especially is something I find really interesting. Um, Happy New Year! Hope you have a good year. <laughs> yeah, we wish you, we wish everyone who's watching this video an amazing 2020. Hope you have an amazing year, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. I want a katana so bad. <laughs> I want a katana so bad, man. <laughs>